Test one on aluminum downspout uh, solar hot air collector. Um, this collector I built uh, four by eight. Uh, it's using um, silver board as an insulator, and I sealed it up with um, high heat temperature silicone, which is actually the stuff. Um, you can get it at any hardware store. Um, <clears throat> and I painted the downspout with uh, black stove paint, which is a high temperature paint. Um, so that works really well. I um, have a 6x4 reducer here for the input. Um, this is a temporary setup, as you can tell, with the painter's tape. And the fan, which is actually AC, so it's great for testing these units. Um, this is actually out of an old microwave oven, so it runs quite well, and it's quite quiet. And um, it's not sealed, but it's you know it'll give me a, a good test, I guess, kind of thing. So we'll see how this works. Um, this is kind of first run to see what it will do as far as uh, output is concerned. I don't really have a way to measure it, but it's kind of a test. I thought I'd share it as I did it. So um, This is repurposed aluminum. Uh, it's just aluminum sheathing that I found. Uh, I found a roll of it. It was taped up. It was in the garbage. So I repurposed a few things on this, but for the most part a lot of this has been purchased and I spent about probably $240 Canadian um, for this. So um, <clears throat> obviously uh, uh, if you're going to repurpose, um, there's one thing I would do differently. Uh, number one, I don't have glazing on this yet, um, so I'm going to have to bite the bullet and buy something because I built this whole thing without the glazing. And a uh, little advice, if you're going to build something like this, get your glazing first. So if you're repurposing old windows or something, that way you know the dimensions to build your box, um, which I didn't do. I was just kind of excited to do this from all the research I did online about it. Um, so anyway, we're going to test this. I have this little makeshift ribbon here on the output. Um, so we'll see what happens. Now, uh, just before I plug this in, what happens here is the air is going to flow down here. <clears throat> and there's a turn here to direct the flow towards those pipes. Uh, so there are five pipes that go up. There's another turn inside with the insulation. It comes up and it turns on that corner and comes down these five. So I didn't put any fins in to kind of direct the flow a little bit more. I just This is kind of first attempt at building one of these things, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so this is all insulated with uh, silver board, which you can buy at the hardware store. Uh, it's fairly cheap, <clears throat> and it's all sealed, so uh, airflow should be quite well through these things. Um, so the output comes up through these five, and there's another turn here. Just a gradual turn so that the airflow is directed towards the output. So let's plug this in and see what it does. Oh, well, at least the fan works. So there's the fan going in here. So it's fairly low as far as. Uh, sound is concerned, so decibels are really good on it, so, um, I don't know, that looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. So, um, that's about the same output I have from the fan if I put my hand right in front of it, which is not bad. Unfortunately, I didn't have a way to really test it, but, uh, as you can see, I'm getting pretty good airflow through there. I don't know if it'll make a sound if I put this in front of the microphone, but we'll try it. No, I guess not. So, it's just a nice gradual flow of air. Impressive. Anyway, I hope you like it. Good luck in your build.